Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and we're back with another DreamWorks Land construction update. Thank you guys for supporting me so much. You guys do. You guys seem to really like these. So, yeah, we're back with another one. And, yeah, this project will be opening this year in just a few months, actually, probably before the summertime. No official opening date yet, but uh, there's more and more progress each time. So, we'll be uh, expecting to only do just a few more updates on this, and then it'll be open. But, yeah, this land, looking great. Even though there'll be no new ride, just a re theme ride and a few new meet and greets, some theme meet and greets, this land looks great and it looks like it got a nice refresh from the um, original Woody Woodpecker Kid Zone area. Let's take a look starting off in kind of the central areas of the, um, this new land. We have newly paved areas here. There's some new play areas in the central area. Shrek's house looks fantastic and much more. There's this little birdhouse type structure here in the central area. I'm not sure. This is doesn't look like it's this part of the Shrek section. But I'm not sure which character, which streamer's character this could be. Let me know in the comments below. If it is, maybe it is it part of the Shrek, Shrek section? I don't think so. Um, but let me know in the comments below where this bird cage or what this is. I don't, it looks like a bird cage or a birdhouse, sorry. Um, could be a part of, but it's very nicely themed no matter who no matter whose character is a part of it. It looks pretty nice and uh i love how it's hidden kind of right behind the trees right there here's just an aerial overview of the whole area you can see the uh, little meet and greet area forming to the upper left right behind shrek over there the troller coaster has a beautifully covered new station that matches has the same paint scheme as the coaster and we'll see that in just a bit but yeah this whole area will definitely bring again bring the park back in theme park i like that quote that they used for epic universe but they are bringing the park back in theme park by just having a whole bunch of trees here you know either keeping these trees or probably adding some as well and adding nice new shade structures and places to sit here's a look into the kung fu panda area right over here this is the play structure still got routine looks like they're retaining again like we've been seeing the play structure at least the building right there and some of the support structures for like the playground and the ropes and the, the course and they'll probably add some more new stuff there and retheme it and add some more kung fu panda stuff probably meet and greet and hopefully maybe mr ping's noodles or something cool like that we'll go in this nice area this looks to be one of the bigger areas if not the biggest little i'll call them little mini or neighborhoods right let's take uh, the pixar pier theme though right these are like little character neighborhoods you can get to meet all the characters um you have shrek of course trolls and kung fu panda as well i'm sure many more but yeah, this is the Kung Fu Panda neighborhood, as I'm gonna call it. Looks pretty massive and should have um, plenty to do, and I'm sure uh, plenty of great meet and greets as well. Here's a play area. This is where that birdhouse is, actually. Okay, so this is the birdhouse in this play area, and this looks. This is just in the central corridor, central area. I'm not sure. I mean, Shrek's house is to the scaffolding to the right hand side, but I, it's separated by a wall, so I don't think it's part of Shrek's house. All right, yeah. The Shrek's Swamp neighborhood area. I think this is just a generic play area for the kids because they did demolish one of them. I know they, you know, they kept the Kung Fu Panda area, but I think there's a smaller play area that they, that did get demolished, and looks like this is a nice replacement for that, which is good because you know it's nice and new, sturdy, and has a wonderful new paint scheme. And I'm sure we'll have a DreamWorks theme to a movie. I'm just not sure. Let me know in the comments below if you know what kind of area this will this theme will be have maybe it'll be all of them maybe it'll be all dreamworks characters maybe it should be a dreamworks playground who knows but here is a, a little tree stump this is not shrek stump but this is on that play area again there's a little tree stump that maybe could be even be the entrance to a slide that'd be cool we'll have a slide uh tree stump that's like a slide It'd be quite nice as well but this whole area is very cute and charming and definitely a nice, much-needed update or replacement to Kid Zone and breaking the nice Kid Zone curse. Here we get to my personal favorite portion of the project, Shrek Swamp. And hopefully with this awesome, elaborate meet-and-greet uh, structure, they get uh, the better-looking donkey that uh, Hollywood has. Because, uh, again, as you may know, Universal Studios Florida's donkey looked horrible. Um, I'm sure the actors did a wonderful job, but the look of the costume was atrocious so hopefully they get the upgraded hollywood look for this beautiful new structure because you know donkey he got it he got to bring his a game to get into his a type structures here well, i'm just, just gorgeous i can't wait till it's sculpted and there's the painting 
uh, done with this because it really looks like Shrek Swamp. Swamp. I mean, this would honestly be the perfect entrance to a beautiful indoor queue for a Shrek dark ride. And that's honestly what, we, what I wish we were getting. But there's space behind for a phase two kind of dark ride. I don't think it'll be a Shrek dark ride. I don't know if there, that is even happening. But that's where the rumors were. Maybe Sequel Apple Pets was going to go one day. Manala can go somewhere else. But yeah, this is just a great Shrek dark ride type um, of audio. And hopefully one of the Universal Parks, even the Universal Kids Park uh, at Texas, unfortunately won't have one. But somewhere else, and they're going to build multiple Universal Kids Parks. Maybe one of those Universal Kids Parks would have a beautiful Shrek dark ride. Because look how gorgeous that is. Wow. Just really, really cool. Um, just perfect entrance. Now, I'm not saying it's being wasted as a, a meet and greet area. But I think that would just be a beautiful dark ride entrance. I mean, look at this. Here it is from the ground, and right there is that DreamWorks sign that uh, some are saying temporary, some are saying permanent. I mean, it looks like the concept art, concept art to me, so I think it's permanent, but hey, who knows? We, we, we may get a new sign. Who knows? But either way, Shrek's um, swamp here, tree stump, looks great. Just, just gorgeous. I mean, so good right now. Top of the tree stump. Look at that tremendous detail in there, you know? This wow, that is some tremendous detail. That's incredible stuff right there. Incredible. I thank you again to Bio Reconstruct for getting all these fantastic photos and these with the incredible camera. Let's take another overview shot of Shrek's house next to the ET building, as well as that play structure that is close to uh, we don't know what it's themed to be, but it's be the center of the new land here. And let's finish off with the troller coaster. The troller coaster looks gorgeous, of course. I uh, love the playful little cute place uh, paint scheme that I'm sure matches the trolls' colors. But now, the station is finished. The station roof was under construction last time, but now it is finished, all painted, ready to go. I mean, we should be getting an opening date for this project probably in the next month or so, I believe. But look at that. I love the station colors. The nice rainbow on the one side, and then you got the blues on the other side. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um... Beautiful, beautiful trolls colors there. And that is going to do it for this quick update for the DreamWorks land. Are you guys excited about this edition? Or are you excited about the even bigger editions that Universal Studios 4 is getting with Pokemon and uh, some other awesome rumors that are coming down the line as well. Universal Studios floor is certainly not going to get left in the dust by its two other sister parks with massive expansions because, yeah, they uh, Universal did not forget about Universal Studios Florida. They got some big, big stuff coming to get people to come there and hopefully buy a three-park ticket to get Epic uh, Islands and Universal Studios Florida with Pokemon and many more cool things coming down the line. If you like this video, press uh, please subscribe to more updates on this and other Universal Studios Florida content as well, and Hollywood too. If you want to contribute to the channel, you can become a YouTube member by clicking the Join member below or contributing to my Patreon where we're posting permits. You get Discord access and much more. A special Discord channel. If you want the regular Discord channel, you can go click that link down below. I'm going to talk about all theme parks and I post permits there as well. Thank you guys for watching and everyone have a epic day.